There is a photo sensitivity warning at the beginning here, so I just want to make sure people are aware of that. Welcome to Graham Games, my name is Graham, this is a game, today I'm playing The Last Human is a Biker. I just really thought this key art was really silly and fun, and I, I figured, what the heck, I'll give it a try. Hmm, it's not in English currently, I, I it is in English currently, so, so we'll see about that. It's a, an arcade action roguelike, uh, so I don't actually know, I think arcade mode is probably more, I don't know if I want to start with endless mode. Uh, so there's just that one thing where the, the language got a little mixed up, apparently. The Slayer, a big gun that does great damage. Uh, let's see, damage, range, reload, projectile, crit chance, crit damage, special perk, starting module. The level 1 base damage up by 20. The Lab, uh, so these are things that... But the lab might not even be in the game right now. And then you can choose your bike as well, which I just have the standard one. I like the punk rock mohawk skull motorcycle with crazy bright highlighter colors. A cruiser motorcycle for reliability and style. Health, handling, and skill cooldown. And the skill is unleash hell on the alien vermin. There you go. So those are the sorts of things you can decide before you even begin your run. And now I believe we just start burning rubber on the road, and it's just a matter of trying to kill as many things as possible. We have burger flip. I I assume. Oh no no I can I can run over. Oh that one explodes though. Okay so I do have to like shoot those or avoid them, but I'm I also think that oh I missed <laughs> that things are gonna start coming from the sky presumably. Okay it's it's officially crossing over into like I'm not gonna be able to I I might as well just be shooting continually. Yep. I also, there there we go, I wanted to try and use my skill. Level up. Incendiary, 10 damage every, oh, so th there's a little bit of vampire survivor z going on here. 10 damage every half second, last two seconds, uh, plus one shot, but minus damage. And, oh, I like how it's showing you how and where it'll modify the gun. And spread, plus one projectile, Range, damage, I'm gonna go for the higher spread, actually. That just seems like it'll be kinda, kinda fun. So, I'm gonna continue squashing those guys. <laughs> I, I get quite a bit of satisfaction out of that. One difficult thing when you have a spreading weapon is that now you're kind of shooting on either side of the things you're trying to kill, rather than directly at them. Oh god. Okay, now, now, we're, now we're getting the airborne ones, then I'm a little bit nervous about them. There we go, this is what I want, because now hopefully there will also be another one in the center, uh, hopefully, yeah. So now, 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 my targeting will be a little bit more accurate. Oh god, the 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 aerial ones are a lot for my brain to to wrap around and keep an eye on. <laughs> I like, uh, I feel like the music. I feel like the music and sound effects could use a little bit of love. They're a little bit simplistic at the moment and not really adding a, a heck of a lot of emphasis. But I like the idea of changing this into like a side-scrolling run and gr gun, like just totally switch up the formula and do do something new and different with it. So electric, 10 damage every one second, uh, or piercing through foes. I'm gonna add piercing. I have all these projectiles, if I can start shredding them through as many enemies as possible, like surely that'll go a long way and, and pay high dividends. And I'll, I'll just kill more things, gain more experience more quickly. And that seems valuable to me. Like, I, I think this is going quite well. Other than the, the taking damage the exact moment I said that, but you know, forget about it. Projectiles bounce on screen borders. Uh, that's actually great. I do, I am deciding that I want that. I have these numerous projectiles, they're gonna pierce through things. If they miss things, then they're gonna start ricocheting off walls and all that. Uh, I just feel like there'll be a, a high potential to for missed shots to still end up contributing you know wow it's very hard to keep an eye on what I'm doing in the bottom and I keep running into the explosive style guys who are bad for me it's so because I know because I know I can run over quite a few of them there's a certain degree of my brain that's tuned out of what's happening on the ground but then there's the dangerous ones you, you do have to keep some of an eye on it my blast size 
additional piercing or extra shot. I guess that just I'll, I will shoot more quickly is what I assume that will mean. Oh, is this the move? What if I just keep shooting straight down like that and I kind of ride along the top here? <laughs> uh, if I, if I kind of like angle it just right and, and commit quite hard to that with my piercing and ricocheting, I think I could do a, a lot through that. This is my new plan. This is my strategy. I'm sticking with it for at least the next little while while I thread some of these needles here. Ooh. Can I run over those guys? I tried. I don't know if I should. Ooh, the bounce range higher. That'll make my, my, my ricochet plan even better. Oh god, I'm scared. I'm scared to go near the- Okay, I can, I can run over the orange ones. These squids are freaking me out, man. There's too many of them. It's a lot- It's a lot to have to pay attention to. Okay, and there, there's higher difficulty of, of the other- the bad- the, the bad ones. Uh, there's just a lot going on and I'm, I'm positioning myself poorly and I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Extra, extra damage. So far, I'm pretty sure I'm one-shotting things, but I'm guessing that will not continue to be true indefinitely. Oh god, I feel very uh, safe in my corner. Try to just hide, <laughs> wait things out. There's so many things raining down from up above. Oh, maybe that... Uh, uh, maybe if you had done partial damage to those uh, more difficult bursting ones, and then drove over them you would kill them like maybe you only take damage if your vehicle doesn't do enough damage to kill them does that make sense um if i go to the menu i have 230 blood i don't know if that is enough to afford things i can i can i can buy the next gun type at least so let me see what what that's all about pew 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 is the achievement i unlocked so this one big gun does great damage an automatic pistol that shoots and bursts so, much lower damage, fire, re reload is better, speed, not that much different, criticals are worse, and shot plus one is the perk? That's not the most exciting, honestly. I'm unsure about that. Uh, yeah, I think, I think the lab is just straight up not in the game at all yet. And I'm pretty sure the, the vehicle costs, like, yeah, quite a lot. There's only three, three of those right now. Canada, so this one's directly a Akira reference, that's really funny. Uh, Turismo, that I don't know, but I'm glad I knew at least one little reference that they slipped into this game. The last human is a bike Let's try out the burst. Oh yes, yeah, so the, the burst has clusters of shots, but then things are still kind of like, there's a space between. Honestly, I think I'm going to grow to miss my high damage many projectiles like if i if i can as soon as i can i intend to get more of that you got to you got to line up your gun i'm 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 kind of lining up the center of my bike and the gun is slightly above the center of the bike incendiary fast reload split the projectile on hit that could be really fun fast reload though i think i literally just want to be like shooting these out as quick as i can I think if I, yeah, if I only hit the, the bigger ones with one of those burst shots, it's not enough damage. So the sooner I can add additional damage, the better as well. I want to make sure that's a bit of a priority for myself. I'm already taking damage in stupid places. Projectile speed? Nah, I'm going to do additional bursting. So now it should shoot four, yeah? This seems notably more difficult. Well, just the build in general. Especially if I just keep running into everyone. I'm not intentionally doing that. Certainly not. Uh, it's pretty easy to clip the big the big ones while I'm trying to, you know, thread those needles. But it's doable. Projectile speed or bouncing. The bouncing was cool. The projectile speed I don't think matters that much. Not currently, at least. I, I'm sure it'll be fun to play around with at some point. But for now, I'm sticking pretty basic. Ah, uh, see, I had injured the guy and then tried to run him over after. And I still think I took damage for running into him. So it wasn't great. It wasn't a great combo. I do suspect I would maybe be a little better at this with the mouse and keyboard, but I wanted to try this out. 
Uh, faster reload again, please. I think if I can just start pumping out shots, spray and pray is probably a strategy that's going to go a little further for me than anything uh, skill and precision based. The amount of times I'm running into things and taking direct contact damage. Not great. I don't like these alien bloopers. The, the ricocheting, I think, is probably helping me a little bit, but ooh. Projectile speed, I could play around. Let's try, and, and other base stats. All base stats get raised as well, so apparently you get a little extra out of that. These squids, man, I'm, I'm really concentrating on shooting upwards, which means I'm taking crappy hits at the bottom. I, I know I'm close to dying, so I'm trying to be extra careful right now. I'm glad I don't move any faster than I do. I think it would actually be really difficult. I'm pretty comfortable with the speed my character moves. That's, that's tight. Pull enemies on impact. Impact with me or with bullets? Blast size, I don't know. I don't really want to pull things closer to myself. I assume it means on impact with bullets. Let's try it out. Although, of course, now... Okay, next phase. Yes, so it's on impact with bullets. Honestly, that would be really useful. If we're being honest. If, if I had the types of things that just were blanketing bullets across the screen, you know? I didn't really have that. Did I gain 292, or is that my total? That's how much I gained. Pretty decent addition, actually. So I, I will, I'll try the next gun out. This one is the, the information. No, it's the Smasher. Shotgun with big spread. Decent damage, range is kind of crappy. Reload is not great. Projectile speed is good. Uh, crit chance is very low. And special projectiles and things. All right, I'm, I'm down to try that one out. And I believe I, I would not be able to afford the bike anyways. I know that. It's like 700 and some. Okay, fa that's the fast projectile speed at work. It's, uh, I would say, fairly noticeable. No, <laughs> I don't want to miss that. The, the limited range on it makes a big difference actually that's going to be hard to get used to if or when i'm able to gather up some upgrades to that apparently damage as well wow that first gun makes an enormous difference because the way the shots spread i need to be like point blank to hit him with enough shots to kill those fairly basic units so i'm quite scared to to get all up in things the the split shotting maybe will will make a, a decent difference shred through enemies using that all right getting up close with these guys is the way to go and if i run into if i run into the smaller ones in the incidental then that's that's a good benefit wow it's really easy to miss Split projectiles even more. I guess I'll keep trying that. I like I like the raining uh, shells of bullets there with like the currency money gold sound effect. Wow, my hitbox is really wide. Sometimes I try and hug the bottom to like get away a little bit. And I think the game very much is aware that people are going to do that. It doesn't want me to, so it kind of crowds things down at the bottom there a little bit. And it's quite easy to get hit. I don't know what's up with those screaming ones. Piercing. Maybe piercing would be the way to go on a shotgun, actually. That, I think, will make a humongous difference. Because then when I miss, at least I might still achieve something. <laughs> oh, come on. Wow, wow, is it ever hard to make efficient use of that. So, notably, I would say each subsequent gun was harder to use. So, I might as well go back to the Slayer, then. Which, does that also look a little bit like the Akira, like, ray gun? Maybe not enough for that to be, like, confident. It would be interesting if I could apply modifiers and things to my bike before the run starts, rather than just having that one, like, singular choice. <laughs> if I don't get additional projectiles, like, right away, I'm, s I'm screwed. That, that was, I think, the only way I made any progress whatsoever on my first attempt in this game. <laughs> a butt clenched. 
Ooh, I barely squeezed that one out. Ah, burst level. I don't really want bursts. The the splitting though, I think could be good. Oh god, it's, it achieves somewhat the similar thing. If I have added projectiles and the splitting, then I'll then that's where it's at. I don't know if the split shots like how much damage they do. I don't know if they're like as good. I could do that more extra projectiles. Now ah, we're talking. This is what I'm looking for. This is this is what I need. <laughs> High-powered gun that shoots a lot of bullets. That's uh, That makes things a little easier, doesn't it? I'll try and uh, work towards something different than my Ricochet build. I did that one once. It served its purpose. Uh, it was ho-hum. Maybe better than ho-hum, but I, I, I've been there, done that. Let's focus on splitting projectiles and then having those split on impact and see if we can just flood the screen with splitting things. Oh, I feel like there's some, like, the, the the screaming guy is, like, secret might be the wrong thing, but, like, a bonus. Like, he doesn't stick around on the map and keep chasing me. Uh, so what happens if, what happens if I really focus fire on that? Maybe it was worth a good amount of experience, but it didn't really show me much of anything on screen that indicated what good that might have been. Damage or just, uh, additional splitting. I'm gonna go <laughs> additional shots fired. I, I knew I knew I was ramming into one there. I would I would love a piercing. I would take a piercing still, even if I didn't build myself directly around the piercing projectile setup. Oh, do do I still have piercing? I don't think I do. I do, I do not. I do not. <laughs> oh, dang it. I'm gonna assume the screamers are are just. Uh, good stashes of experience. I will take one piercing. Because that's just uh, notably strong. I really could use some life. Ways of healing would be appreciated. Uh, see, again, uh, up at the top there, it feels like there should be more room for me. Because I'm not, like, pushed up against the sidewalk. My shoulder blade is or whatever. But it, it makes it a little tricky to, like, have a strong feel for like where is safe on the map I feel like there's room for that to be tweaked a little bit I think at the top and the bottom there's room to have a little bit more forgiveness and where is considered safe for you to kind of hide uh, more projectiles I'm, I'm committing to that for the time being because right now being able to flood the screen with those with piercing that's the only thing that's gonna let me how many how many times have I said that's the only thing that's the only option it's the only way I'm gonna survive is if I commit to that I, I feel like I'm a, a broken record here but I keep getting overwhelmed and just like yeah that's my only option I, I'm going extra damage on this next one I don't even know if I need it I think I'm killing everything in one shot anyways but that's inevitably gonna stop being true damn it I couldn't even see that down there ah so back to the menu I don't think I have enough to afford anything new the, the next weapon, the next bike, those are, are more expensive, the lab's not in place. I believe the game is in early access, let me confirm. Very recent release, they're expecting about a year of early access where they'll just continue to expand on the game, but I wanted to get out there nice and early and show people a, a starting point of what all is available to you currently. And you can see if the game is uh, of any interest to you. It's available for cheap, put some hours in, give some feedback to the devs, and see where it goes from here. Thank you so much for watching. There is a link to The Last Human is a Biker in the description down below, and I hope to see you again soon.